Hello. In Enter Tramites, we explain how to fill out the TA6 form. Enter Tramites provides guidance on completing the TA6 form, which is required for employer registration with the Social Security and obtaining the contribution account code. By presenting this document, a file is opened for the entrepreneur in the Social Security so that he can hire workers as self-employed or companies. After explaining what this model is and what it consists of, I will provide a step-by-step -step explanation of how to fill it out. In the first part, in framing data, they will ask us for the regime in which it is located. In my case, it will be the general. The 1.2 is the special system, i.e. the activity to be done has a special regime. The registration date should be the date on which the registration of the entrepreneur is requested. In the second part, it indicates the data of the entrepreneur making the request. We will insert the name first, followed by the trade name. The kind of document, its associated number. The SSN social security number. We will leave it empty as the Social Security assigns it. When entering company constitution data, we must input the same registration date as assigned by the Social Security. The kind of record in which our company was registered, although it may be redundant. The province. The volume, the book, the sheet, the section, and the pages. The company has its offices situated either at the private address or at the social address of its choice. Here we will place the address where it is located. We will place the zip code. The province, the province, the province. Landline, mobile, email, contact details, phone number, cell phone, electronic mail, means of communication. In the data section on economic activity, we'll transcribe the information from the registration, i.e. all the info when we were registered in Model 036. In 5.1, we will place the economic activity. In 5.2, we will place the IAE. The economic activity, in 5.2, we will place the IAE in it. In the upcoming version 5.4, we will position the agreement to which we are going to apply, along with specifying the name of the agreement that will be utilized for this purpose. In this part of 5.5, Social Security requests us to identify ourselves if we're a temp employment agency, if we're an educational center, or if we're a special employment center. This is achieved with the objective that these three possess specific and distinctive characteristics. But in my case, I will not take it into account. In 5.8, we will place the address in this case, it will be where the establishment will be located. It is possible that it is the same as what we had already placed in 4.1, or it could be different from what we had previously. In my case, I will place the same. In section 6, it states that the preferred address for notifications is mentioned in the document. In this section, we will choose the option that best suits our needs, specifically the option where we prefer to receive notifications, particularly if they are notifications delivered by postal mail. In section 6, it refers to the location where we want to receive notifications in case they are notifications sent by mail. In my situation, I will choose that at the address of point 4. In section 7, it pertains to the social security data that will offer work and occupational disease services in the event something occurs to any worker at any given moment. 
In this scenario, I'll use the exact same social security number. And I will indicate with an X on the managing entity. In point 8, in representative data, we need to input the name, document type, number, and any other relevant information as specified in the requirements or guidelines provided. ID number assigned to individuals. The data section pertaining to the direct debit of fees, namely section 9, is specifically designated for the purpose of registering an entrepreneur who will, in fact, be a homeowner and will be employing a domestic worker for their household. It must be indicated to whom it is addressed, that is, the province of social security or administration must be stated, the date must be placed, and it must be signed in these fields that I am pointing out here. Lastly, it is crucial to note that this procedure has a duration of up to 45 days, taking into consideration the possibility of suspension or interruption due to a lack of documentation that may arise during the process. This model can be submitted either in person or electronically through the electronic headquarters if you possess a valid and recognized digital certificate. I will demonstrate how we can present the model in Social Security. We are on the eHeadquarters page. Let's go to Companies. This menu is displayed. We give you the option of Affiliation, Registration and Modifications. We go down until we find the option. Registration and Assignment of CCC for Collective Entrepreneur. In this case, the Social Security is not allowing to submit this form electronically. As a suggestion, I recommend that you seek advice from a management office because, in addition to this model, it is necessary to present a total of two documents. What is the F10 to which it refers? Permission as authorized and the document of the linked individuals. The one below that states the registration and assignment of CCC for the individual entrepreneur does. Ref to the self-employed. We will gain access, we will identify ourselves with the digital certificate, and we will respond to the questions they ask us on the page. Remember to leave your doubts. Remember to leave your questions or suggestions in the comments. For more information, remember to check our website and follow us on our social media platforms. You'll find the link in the description box below. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve with expert guidance on streamlining your paperwork, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.